As announced by SAP, the support for PO will stop within a short period. But what does this mean to your organization and what will be your next step? Is it recommended to move to CPI or another middleware tool, even if you have a very complex IT landscape? No problem. In this episode, I will provide you with more information about the differences between CPI and PO and what aspects need to be considered due to the decision-making process. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Ali Seliker and I work as an integration consultant for McCoy & Partners. Today, I would like to give you some background information regarding a hot topic within the world of integration. As you might know, SAP announced that PO will not longer be supported and recommends their customers to think about the next step. But is this feasible? The decision-making process consists of several factors. First, the type of integration within the IT landscape. Secondly, the optimization of business processes and finally, of course, economic factors. Now, let's have a closer look at both middleware solutions. What is SAP PO? Now, the purpose of SAP PO is to create connection between legacy systems on the internal network. The focus of PO is actually mainly point-to-point -point integrations. These systems require a sustainable solution with a variety of configuration options. SAP PO is a well-known middleware solution which has been around for the block for over 15 years. PO is widely adapted for its seamless integration with SAP and has a large set of adapters. Additionally, it has a large community of developers that add new functionalities continuously. Now, what is CPI or Cloud Platform Integration? CPI is SAP's cloud-based middleware that allows integration between cloud and on-premise applications, but also third-party SAP and non-SAP products. Now, due to its existence in the cloud, there is no additional hardware required. CPI has more focus on complex integration processes with large scale of prepackaged solutions. But what are the differences and where is it used for? Now, to start with, there are several differences between SAP PO and CPI. The first differences are based on architectural perspectives. Secondly, we can conclude that there is an economic difference. PO has varying licensing and maintenance costs. Payments depend on the number of machine processors, transactions or users. CPI is based on a monthly subscription. The third difference is the necessity for updates. CPI is a cloud-based product and does not require additional updates, whereas PO has a long and costly update cycles. This results in time and cost efficiency. The movement of cloud-based applications ensure that PO cannot cope with the demand of high flexibility with a low total cost of ownership. Now, let's have a look on the technical differences. The first aspect when comparing these middleware solutions is that CPI offers more flexibility. The focus of PO is based on getting the message from the source to the target system, whereas CPI can enrich the message by collecting data throughout the flow. This is also possible with PO, however, it's limited and it's restricted. PO requires a separate complex component, which is called SAP BPM or Business Process Management. Another technical difference is the use of API management. CPI focuses on API management with good authorization concepts, which is less in PO. Due to its longer existence and limited possibilities, SAP PO requires more advanced developers compared to CPI. In general, CPI offers more transparency and flexibility by its existence in the cloud. Developers can work on the free trial to enhance their experiences. But what is the best fit for your organization? The decision to switch from PO to CPI depends on several factors. The main aspect is the complexity of the integration environment. In case of heavy integration traffic, it might seem unnecessary to switch from PO to CPI. Then SAP PO can be used until the end of support. In case of a few integrations or starting a new integration landscape, it is recommended to start with CPI. Overall, SAP has a roadmap that is moving to the cloud, which could be more interesting eventually. If cloud-based applications such as Ariba or success factors are used and data is stored in the cloud, SAP CPI is a better fit for your organization. Thirdly, the total cost of ownership can make or break your deal. If cost efficiencies is your focus, a detailed benefit analysis is recommended. As McCoy & Partners, we offer organization a landscape check to assist the decision-making process and find the best fit. Together, we can optimize your business processes with the best integration solutions. In the next episodes, we will provide a demo of CPI and upgrade your practical knowledge. So, stay tuned.